Hi guys, it's uh, Sam for Digital Me. Um, and in this quick tip, we're going to be looking at uh, compositing for HDRIs. So <clears throat> let's go over what uh, the normal compositing workflow is. Um, so basically, I want to dump an object into maybe a picture or something. So we'll get a background. I've just got an image here of a road. I've dumped it in the luminance channel for the background dump it on my background and that's what we get so I would like to dump say a cube in the scene so obviously I've just set it up so it looks like it's actually sat there so it doesn't look like it's there there's no shadowing on the floor nothing like that so what you typically do is grab a plane um, let's have a look and let's move our cube up so it's actually sitting on the floor uh, let's make our plane bigger say 2000 by 2000 yeah that'll do nicely so we've got that on the floor now but we need um, this background pitch to be projected on the floor um, so let's dump this on the floor now it's not mapped correctly, so you render it, it won't look right. So we go into this tag, uh, the texture tag, sorry. Uh, go down and choose frontal for the projection type. Now you can see that when I render, it looks correct. Right. Now I've also got this in the luminance channel. The only problem with this is when you dump a light in the scene. Um, so let's just dump a point light in there. This won't be very accurate, but it'll get my point across. Um, and then add shadows. So we'll go for area shadows. And then render this. You'll see there's no shadow on the floor. That's because the floor, the floor's texture is in the luminance channel. Now I've already put it in the color channel, so let's turn that on and see what happens. Now we're getting a shadow but now you can see the plane in the render. It doesn't uh, merge in with the background. So basically what we want is the same luminance values as the background, but the capability of having shadows as well. So you'd go to your plane, right click, Cinema 4D tags, go down to the compositing tag, and then choose this compositing background. And now when we render, it's a little bit more natural obviously you can see a little bit of fall off on the edge there I think that's mainly due to the fact that um, there we go that's a little bit better but typically that's how you'd do it so what about HDRIs right, let's get rid of all of this uh, this works for Cinema 4D R16 and 15 I believe I'm not sure about 14 because I don't have it anymore so Let's create a material. We don't need any of this. Turn on the luminance channel. I'm just going to grab a HDRI that I got from uh, DOSH HDRI Asia Roads Pack. So you should definitely check uh, their website out. That's DOSH. Anyway, so I've now got my material, which is my HDRI. It's my spherical map. So let's just call this Sky. We'll create a sky object and then dump this on the sky. Now it automatically wraps around. Um, as you can see, the quality is not very good in the viewport, but if you double click on your material, go down to editor, and then you've got your texture preview size, you can ramp that right up to something ridiculous, depending on how good your card is or any of that kind of stuff. So there we go, we've got our, we've got our road in there now. So, let's get an object in there and try and make it look like it's kind of meant to be there, I suppose. Um, actually, yes. It's hard to do, really. Um, yeah, something like that, that'll, that'll do. But obviously, it doesn't look like it's really there or in place um, and because the 
HDRIs in the luminance channel of this on our sky object. We can turn on global illumination. So if we go up to, excuse me. So if we go up to here, which is our render settings, open up this window. Let me reduce that back down again. Oh, come here. There we go. Uh, and then go to effect global illumination. That's on. I'm just going to leave these settings as they are for now. That'll be fine. Uh, actually, I better check the output size. Yeah, that's fine. Um, let's at least make it uh, 16 by 9. Lock the ratio. Drop that down to 800 so it renders nice and quick. Okay, so now we've got our 16 by 9 thing. Now, if we render now, uh, our G out, uh, GI is calculated, but um, again, we've got no shadowing, nothing like that. So we need to have something to for the shadows to be on. So if we if we dump a plane in there, um, grab our box, leave that up so it's actually sitting on the floor. Make our plane ridiculously massive. That's well, not that bad. And now we render. Obviously, uh, the GI is doing its job, but the plane's obviously visible. So if you dump this texture on your plane, it's not projecting right. And if you try to do it frontally, it will project it front frontally. But because it's a sphere map, you can see that you've got the whole map on the on the plane, and obviously that's not what we want. It doesn't look right. Um, and none of these are going to work. So what do you do? Well, if I get rid of the HDR on the plane, I can just um, go over the plane, right click, Cinema 4D Tags, Compositing, and we have a little checkbox here for Compositing Background for HDR Maps. So if we just click that on, and now render, voila, the box looks like it's sat on the road. Um, obviously, you have to set your scene up so it looks correct, but all in all, that's that's, uh, that's doing a pretty good job. So, let's try that. So, yeah, and then, obviously, we can add something like uh, ambient occlusion. We can do that as well. It just helps ground it, if there's any there. Um, also, giving this box a material would probably help. Let's give it something quite light, something like that. It's got a reflectance model on it. Uh, yeah, we don't need that for the time being. Done that on there. Okay. And if you wanted to, you could have the uh, um, texture actually boot out more GI if you don't think that it's, uh, if it's a bit too dull. actually fits quite nicely actually looks okay but if you did want to boost the amount of GI coming out of the sky you could go to material go to the illumination tab it says generate GI here and you could boot that up to maybe 150 percent so the texture itself would look the same but the amount of light it's uh, producing for the GI increases so I hope that helps um, compositing with HDRI maps. Uh, like I said, that's in Cinema 4D 15 and 16. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not in before that, but uh, don't quote me on that. So um, uh, don't forget you can follow me on my Facebook page, which is Digital Meet uh, 3D, uh, facebook.com forward slash Digital Meet 3D. You can also follow me on Twitter, uh, at Digital Meet 3D, so you can get updates of when my new tutorials go up. And if you're watching this on Vimeo, please check out my website, which is digitalmeet.uk. So we've uh, actually got a blog on here. Uh, and we've got a tutorials page, gallery, and a little section about me. Okay, so... As always, bye.